Welcome to another episode of Cinema Stitches. I'm your yarn host, Jennifer. Okay, so today's episode <laughs> is going to kind of be like our Monday episodes where I come on and I show you what I've been doing and then we just talk about random stuff because <clears throat> stuff, life, you know, things are happening, things are going on. First of all, I know that I updated you on Monday, but my niece's graduation was this weekend. I still have not uploaded her pictures. I have a very large lens, <laughs> so it is usually accepted that I am going to be taking pictures of events like that because nobody else's camera reaches like that far of a distance because it was at a football field and it was outdoors and we were up in the bleachers and so because of my telescopic lens, I can reach long distances with my lens. And I'm like the only one that got to see the graduation up close, <laughs> which was kind of cool. <laughs> I was using it like it was a telescope and I was like spying at all the kids. <laughs> it was neat though, because I couldn't wear my glasses because it was really, really hot outside. And I couldn't wear my glasses because but the difference between the mask and the sweat and the glasses, I wouldn't be able to see. And then holding the camera because this is an actual camera, so you got to hold it to your eye to see what you're doing. Can't do that with glasses on because it's a little bit painful. Because <laughs> it, it jams the glasses into your face. And it was hot. It was blazing hot. But the ceremony was good. The day, for the most part, was good. I enjoyed it. Um, but we're not here to hear about the graduation, are we? Are we? You're not here about my new shirt? My new shirt! <laughs> Okay, so I designed some new shirts with my new Cinnamon Stitches logo on it. And I put it in my Teespring shop. The Teespring shop is always linked below if you guys ever want to sport some. Like, no pressure. No pressure whatsoever. You don't like it. You don't have the money. Don't care. If you want one, it's there for you if you want one. I have the new logo. <laughs> I have the... And I learned from the last time when I designed shirts... Use white on the dark colored shirt so you can see what it says. And then I put some with black lettering on light colored shirts. So no matter what color shirt you want, it will be very easily available. Cinnamon stitches! And I also, this is my favorite. <laughs> I already wore it though, so it's it needs to be washed. And it's probably wrinkly. Yarn hostess with the most is. Cinnamon stitches. <laughs> I really like this one is um like a really thin. They're supposed to both be comfort tees. And the reason I do the comfort tees is because the comfort t-shirts go from size small to 5X. So I want everybody to be able to get a shirt if they want one. Not go, oh, they only go up to 2X that don't fit me. Because been there, done that. I hate that. So I try to get the one that has, has the most extended sizes. This one, for some reason, is way thinner and softer and, like, way more comfortable. This is more of a stiff t-shirt. Still comfortable, but, like, this one's way more comfortable. And this is, like, I'm probably going to be wearing this till it got holes in it like I did my other yellow one. So, that's what's going on. There's another thing that's been happening. <laughs> I also have a couple of yarn purchases that I'm going to show you. But first, we're going to ignore that that's back there. <laughs> We'll talk about that in a minute. I made last minute. This is not it. This is not it. Anyway, this is the <laughs> this is the one that I told you about that was made with the cotton vibrance that had 18 breaks in one ball. Is it just me or does the virus stitch look like an owl face? Does anybody else see an owl? <laughs> just me? <laughs> so yeah, there's 18 breaks in that first ball, but I have used three more balls of the Cotton Vibrance. It was nowhere near as bad as this first one, and I know a lot of you told me to contact Premier, but it's done, it's over with, and I don't even think that they have this yarn on their website anymore, so they can't like refund me or send me a new one. It's not a big deal to me. I mean, I bought this over a year ago. Had I bought it a year ago and found out a year ago that there were breaks in it, I would have contacted Premier. And I know that they would have sent me a new one. No problem. No questions asked. That's just how they work their business. No problem. That's not what I wanted to show you, though. 
<laughs> I grabbed the wrong shawl. I'll be right back. In case you don't hear it in my voice or don't hear the sniffles or the clear of my throat. We're still on Pollen Watch 2021. <laughs> I had to take Benadryl yesterday. I never, ever take Benadryl. I am not a medicine type person. I mean, I take my regularly prescribed medicine for my heart and my blood pressure and the simple things. But I don't take medicine outside of that. I have a lot of reasons I hate medicine. I'm not a big fan of doctors. Um, I had to take Benadryl last night because... And as you can tell, I am not looking real hot. Like, my when my allergies act up, this weird thing happens with my eye. And it just swells up and starts, like, draining. And <laughs> I was at a car dealership one time. And I was sitting, waiting. I, it wasn't even us buying a car. It was my sister. And we were... We were going along because Mr. Cinnamon was helping her. One of the millions of times we helped her. Uh, not not Baby Paprika. I'm not talking about her. Anyway, I was sitting there and my eyes started acting up. It was pollen season. It was probably about this time of the year. And it just swelled up. And it just looked like I was crying. And the salesperson comes over. This poor guy. He leans over. He's, are you okay? Like, is, is everything all right? And I looked and I was like, allergies. <laughs> He just didn't know what to say for that. He, I think I scared him a little bit. I probably look like Quasimodo. Like, my face was just... Yeah. So, anyway. Last minute, my daughter is like... She's sad. She really misses... She's going to miss this one specific teacher who's not actually her teacher. She is one of her teacher's wives. But she also works as a teacher at the school. But she's like a volunteer. We'll just call her Miss J. Um, she's been super supportive of Juju, very friendly. She likes Juju, you know, and she found out, she was asking Juju about, you know, do you work and whatever? And Juju was like, well, I have a little side business and I make earrings and stitch markers, which by the way, she restocked some. She has a lot more she's going to be restocking in the next, she's made a ton. I got like hair or something on the tip of my nose and it's like itching. Anyway, she's got, she has been working her butt off. It's the last week of school, so every minute she's got, she's trying to get, get stuff. She's got to go tonight and buy, like, shipping supplies and stuff. Because she's already got a couple orders from her restock, but she's going to help. Anyway, I'm getting out and about the subject. <laughs> Focus. So, she was talking about Miss J. And she's all, I really like her, I'm going to miss her. And she already gave her a pair of earrings that the teacher had what was fond of it was a pair of uh, sunflowers and the teacher was like I, she wanted to buy them and then I she forgot or something and so Juju just gave them to her for a gift and so the lady she was totally touched by that and I was like Juju do you, do you want me to get her make her a shawl or something like I did for low man's teacher and she's all yeah I was like all right well let's do cotton because it's you know summertime it's hot out and then she came in here and didn't want any of the cotton yarns I had Instead, she picked Lion Brand ice cream. This was one I was saving. It is, I think the colorway Moon Mist, which, by the way, is a soda flavor in Michigan. Fago Moon Mist. Man, ice cream. If anything, is Blue Moon. But anyway, it's beautiful. She wanted this yarn, and she wanted the Granny Virus pattern. So this is what we made. And she said that the teacher is not small frame. She's like about juju size. So it didn't even take a whole skein of the, the big scoop ice cream. But I was totally saving this one because I really like this colorway. But I let her have it for her teacher. So it's actually a little bit damp. It was hanging up because I wash everything before I gift it. All right, you guys want to see some yarn? I think I covered everything else. Let me see. Yeah, t-shirts. Okay, so I placed a small little order from Mary Maxim. And the reason I did is because you guys know I got plans to make more socks. Here's the problem. I want to cast on another pair of socks. I want to do it right now, like yesterday. But I had to finish this one. That I thought was going to be for the teacher. That is not now. So... Throw that over there. There's a bin back there with all my makes in it. <laughs> it's overflowing. Then, last minute, week before school. Gotta finish that. Then I was working on this, by the way. 
This is going to be a tutorial on the channel very soon. It is going to be for all sizes from infant all the way up to as big as you can make it. I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful tie and it doesn't look as good on Brunhilde as it does on me. I will show you guys how cute it is on me because I got bigger, you know, I got bigger body parts so it like hangs a lot better on me and that's like a 4x <laughs> Brunhilde is an extra small so it, it looks kind of funny on her trust me this is a beautiful top I am gonna make a tutorial very soon it is not gonna be this week because this week is crazy and I have to um, do a test with someone else who I've already asked I asked her if she would help me and I would walk her through it on video to see how easy it is for her to make because she is not as advanced as I am with crochet and I know if it's easier for if it's easy for me to explain it to her not that she's a schlub she is like she can make some stuff but if if it's easier for me to walk her through it it will be easier for me to tutorialize it for you guys and I'm going to have her make this in a small size so that it's worked up quick but she also has a small person that she can make it for and so like it'll be it'll be awesome so be on the lookout for that and I might have to alter this because it's kind of like a uh it's pointed in the front and in the back is flat so Juju wants one Juju is actually in love with it but she wants the point in the back too so I'm debating on which style I'm going to release in the tutorial if I'm going to do flat backed or if I'm going to do the pointed back because if I'm already making her another one, if I'm making one for her and I make it pointy in the back, like she wants, she wants crop top. So it's going to be like a lot shorter than that. I can walk you guys through it while I'm making hers. And then I don't have to make an extra one just for the tutorial. <laughs> but if you have purchased any of these yarns, you already got the yarn for it. So Cotton Sprout, the Hipster Yarn would work. The chameleon yarn would work um, or if you have any of the cotton vibrance from premiere from last year or the loops and thread cotton what is that called cotton colors because now I love it because I got past the one that was all broken up and this is actually really nice yarn so <laughs> if you have any of these cottons laying around you already have the cotton to make this um, for this 4x shirt it took the leftovers the ball is like falling apart it took the leftovers from the shawl that I threw back there so it was a half a ball up here that was a half a ball and then I think this was either one or two balls I don't remember so three of these balls, well, two and a half, so 400 yards times two and a half, so about a thousand yards of cotton. Well, should be perfect for big sizes, but like, obviously if you're smaller, it's not going to take anywhere near a thousand yards. But anyway, I don't have a name for that yet, <laughs> but it's super simple to make. It's very beautiful. I love it. And I cannot wait to show you guys how to make that. Back to Mary Maxim, I know, I'm all over the place, all the time. So you guys know that this is why I haven't started new socks yet. I also want to work on my tank top. I haven't even caked up the yarn for that yet. I have beautiful, and I don't know where I put it. I have white yarn that I hand dyed and it is patriotic themed. So it is white base, but it has red and blue speckles and stripes on it. And it is a beautiful, beautiful bunch of yarn that I created last year. And I knew from the get-go I wanted to make a tank. I want to knit a tank top. And I have the pattern and I have the yarn. I just have not had the time to get to it yet. So, I haven't had time to start more socks either. So, you guys remember I ordered the Serenity sock yarn from Premiere last week. I'm getting... Gaining a supply of sock yarn for myself so that I can have options and so that I can figure out what sock yarn I like. So I ordered two different varieties from Mary Maxim and I don't remember what any of these costs and I don't know if I have, 
Ugh, throwing it on the floor. I don't know if I have the receipt. Hang on and I'll see if I can find it. Luckily for me, I didn't put it in the garbage can yet. <laughs> I stuck a bunch of papers, like wrappers for yarn and stuff. I stuck it in a mailing bag and I set it on the floor. So luckily for me, this does not have prices on it. No prices. Thanks, Mary Maxim. Anyway, one of these was cheaper than the other ones. These are currently on sale right now, I think, for $1.99 per bowl on Mary Maxim, I believe. These are a lightweight number three. And these are made in Turkey, approximately 151 yards per ball, 80% acrylic, 20% wool. This is Mary Maxim Elements. They're not, they're not real soft. They feel a little bit more sturdy. The color is pretty. So that's going to be a pair of socks. And then I bought one of these. And this I think was $6. Step softly. This is a super fine number one. And this is... 75% super wash wool, 25% nylon, so 100 grams. Made in Turkey, what is the, 459 yards. You guys know me and my rainbow colors. You just, <laughs> I need these to be in socks. And I actually might make long socks on these, even though I don't really wear long socks. But these are so cute. They're so cute. This is the colorway rainbow. And these are the color color wildflowers so and the total for all three of these plus shipping was sixteen dollars and 42 cents so i mean not bad that's what i ordered from mary maxim and i'm totally looking forward to making myself some socks some more socks i'm really happy i like making socks they're fun <laughs> you know I got really out into hats for a little while, but I have like such a huge stockpile of hats now. And socks are like little tiny hats with the exception of the heel. <laughs> the heel is confusing and it, of course it could be complicated. We're going to figure that all out in due time. But to me, they're like making little hats. And to me, that's just fun, you know, and I really, really like them <laughs> and they make me happy. So I also went to Michael's this week. And the only reason I went to Michael's, because Michael's has scammed me, okay? <laughs> They're pulling something. There's like a, a, a voodoo mind trick, something. Because And A.C. Moore used to do this to me every single month. A.C. Moore, which A.C. Moore is not around anymore, I know. And I talk about it because I miss A.C. Moore. It was a good store, Okay. AC Moore would do this wonderful rewards points. If you spent a certain amount, you would get like a gift check at the end of the month. And I was always getting like $10, $10 gift checks, always. And so I'd be like, well, I got to go spend my gift check because I earned it because I spent money. And so like that's free $10. I'm, I got to go buy yarn, right? So now Michaels has started. They're constantly giving us $5, $5 rewards, $5 rewards, $5 rewards. $10 rewards because we earned it. And I'm like, well, I can't let the $5 go bad. Like, it's a scam. <laughs> it works wonderfully for them, but it's a scam. <laughs> it's a marketing ploy. And it sucks me in every time. Every time. So that's what happened. Mr. Cinnamon goes, because Mr. Cinnamon has been using his rewards. Now, we all have our own Michael's Rewards account. Juju has one. Me and Mr. Cinnamon have one. So that way, we all have coupons that are our own. We always compare coupons. Who has the better coupons? And sometimes, if I want an expensive yarn, I will go in with my coupon, and Mr. Cinnamon will go in with his coupon, and I will get two of those yarns, and we both get 25% off or whatever the coupon is for that day. You know, as a matter of fact, one of the cashiers tried to call me out on it. She's all, you know, that coupon's not going to work twice. And I was like, baby, he's got his own account. <laughs> I know. So anyway, he 
has he's been using his account exclusively because there hasn't been like major coupons I have not been doing major purchasing and you know whatever he's the only one that's been getting the reward so he's like I got a five dollar reward you want to go spend it I'm like well sure and my idea was I was gonna go look for the chameleon yarn because I still don't have the yellow <laughs> I have the pink solid the pink multi and the purple solid or maybe the purple multi I think that's the purple multi I only have three. That's all the colorways my store has. I want the yellow. I really want the yellow. I mean, Hope and Premier would release it on their website soon because the hype is really big right now. And they have not. <laughs> so I'm waiting patiently for the yellow. I was like, well, let's go see if they have any yellow. I'll buy a yellow. You know, so I have a yellow. I have plans for that yarn. I want to make probably a beach cardi, which is my pattern in my Etsy shop. <laughs> so I just thought how cool would that be and uh, several of you even said that like your beach cardi would be so cool in color change yarn yeah it would because it'll look white indoors and then when I go out by the beach or by the pool or wherever else I wear it to it'll change color it'll be magic it'll be awesome still can't get my hands on the yellow so I went to go look at the yarn anyway and I purchased some and this I'm, I'm gonna say this this yarn purchase is Sandy's fault from crochet a I will, of course, link her below. I always link whoever I mention. She was talking about this yarn. She was talking about how soft it was. And it didn't really draw my attention too much. As you can tell, the sun is shining through the window. So we got some weird lighting happening. Um, <laughs> she was talking about how soft this yarn was. And this just did not draw my attention at all on the show. I mean, there's pretty colors. Really, I really love this yellow. But it didn't draw my attention and the price is like $7.99 that sure didn't draw my attention but it was on sale for $3.99 and I had a $5 reward so of course I had to buy some so and Sandy ain't lying this is soft it is so so soft and slick and smooth it's not even slick because it's not like you're it's gonna slide off your hook it's not that kind of slick but it is it is soft. It is so pretty. So that is the yellow and that is very, very true to color. Very true to color. And this is the Eco Brights. And 255 yards for $3.99. And it's made from recycled plastic. I don't know how they make recycled plastic this soft. I really don't get it. It says 100% recycled polyester. This is the color yellow. I'm trying to see if there's any other info on here. Hand wash, cold, do not bleach, do not iron, do not dry clean. They say this is a bulky five. It's very thin for a bulky five. But a lot of times they'll label stuff as a bulky five because they recommend you use a bigger hook for it for whatever reason. This yarn will work better with a bigger hook, even if it's not like a thicker yarn. So just keep that in mind. And it says it recommends an eight millimeter hook for that. But I always use bigger than recommended hooks anyway for this example. This is supposed to be a lightweight number three. And I used, I think an L hook. So <laughs> I used way bigger than recommended. So you see that I got the white and the yellow, but the white, did the white go with the yellow? Hang on. I grabbed different colorways to go yeah, the white goes with the yellow. Hey, baby. And I bought it to go with the green. And I was thinking, why am I doing so much yellow and green? Like, totally not. Like, I love yellow. I've always loved yellow. I don't work with it very often. That yellow has been on my shelf forever. I just do not reach for yellow. But, like, the yellow and the green were, like, singing to me. And then I was like, well, I need white to go with it. So it's not total Green Bay Packers, although... Not the right shade of colors for Green Bay anyway. <laughs> but I just thought those were really pretty. I just think those are total like spring. Those remind me of daffodils. So we got those three colors. And then I grabbed Mr. Cinnamon really liked this one. So I grabbed this one because of him. And this is the color Aqua. Which looks a little more greenish to me than Aqua. It's showing up more blue on screen. Let's see if I put that next to 
the white and get the white balance to it's a little more green yeah it's a little more green but I got two of these and I couldn't decide what color went with this because they have like pinks like pink 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 don't go with this the green the yellow don't go with this they didn't really have any other color that went with this they had like a navy blue that does not because this like I said it's more green than it's showing up on camera so I put it with gray and I just thought that would be so pretty together I am really into the gray. So I bought those six balls of yarn. And I actually tried to get Juju to pick this yarn <laughs> for her teacher. For the shawl I made for her teacher. She was like, no. I want your ice cream yarn that you're saving for yourself. <laughs> Things I do for my kids. But yeah. I think she made a good choice. She's got good taste in yarn. I need to hang that back up so it will dry because she needs to give it to her teacher. So yeah, that's what's been going on here. Lots and lots of busy work. Um, I wasn't sure I was going to be able to make this video today and get it up today because I got really sick after the graduation and after being outside with all the pollen in the air and being outside with the dye video. I got really sick last night and that's why I had to take the Benadryl. And even Mr. Cinnamon decided to work from home today because he wanted to keep an eye on me because he was worried because I was really, I was not feeling, he always automatically freaks out and thinks like it's COVID and he's all, you want to go get tested? And I'm like, no, I'm vaccinated. I'm fine. This is allergies. It's all here. <laughs> My throat a little bit, but it's not, it ain't all that. I just didn't feel good. There was way too much pollen happening. And this is something I have dealt with a hundred times in my life. I knew it was allergies. I knew it was from all that nasty, gross pollen out there. So I ain't worried. And I feel better. I took some Benadryl last night. I slept all night. I woke up this morning still a little bit, like, allergy-ish. But I feel okay. I feel okay. I'm good. So, all right. Yeah, but like I was saying, I wasn't sure today's video was going to get made. I don't know if there's going to be any more videos this week. I just don't know. I don't have time to do a tutorial. <laughs> the kids are going to be home all day tomorrow. And then half days on Thursdays and Friday. So I don't know what else I'm going to be able to get up this week. So if I go missing, don't worry about me. I'm fine. I, I usually let everybody know in the Facebook group or I post somewhere that like I'm not feeling good or I don't have a video coming up. And I will always let you guys know so you don't have to worry. I will, I'll still be fine. But, yeah. I just don't know what else I have to show you guys for the rest of the week. I'm boring. Alright guys. Um, if there's videos, surprise, there's videos. If not, I'm sorry. And I will get, get back to videos very soon. Because I still have to upload graduation pictures. My niece was texting today. She's like, and Jenny... Did you get any pictures up yet? And I was like, no, baby, I don't feel good. I'm not, I'm kind of sick. And she's all, I'm really sorry. I was like, is there any pictures you want in particular uploaded right now? She's all, no, I just wanted to update my contacts on my phone list. And so I hurried up and I did like five or six pictures up, uploaded for her on Facebook real quick. Because I don't just upload like all the pictures I took. Because some pictures don't turn out. And that, like being a professional photographer up in the past I'm not anymore <laughs> I am very picky about what I put into the world as my work I still can't let that go I don't upload pictures that are blurry that are blinky eyes that are out of focus any of that so she has to wait till I'm able to go through them and I took quite a bit <laughs> I took a lot and they all look good to me but like I also don't like sometimes like pictures will come out a little bit dark because like the light will slightly shift in between clicking the shutter and so I go in and I adjust them to make sure they're all like even and the, the same amount of brightness and yeah totally picky with that I just wish I could just be normal and upload them and I can't because it drives me insane and I have to I get that from my mother that's the perfectionist in me I gotta make sure see it now what's funny is I am not a perfectionist with my yarn craft, but my photography, you better believe, I am a perfectionist. A perfectionist. <laughs> I will edit the littlest things in the picture. There's a hair on somebody's face. 
I go through and I remove it. Yeah. <laughs> two different businesses, two different mindsets completely. Completely. But yeah. <laughs> I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. I don't know when the next one's going to be, but I hope to see you soon. Bye.